Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Wale Olabobwe, I'm a medical doctor and a reproductive health advocate. This channel is designed to always provide quality preventive tips to safeguard your health. The 26th day of September every year is set aside to mark the World Contraceptive Day. And this year, the theme is contraception. It's your life, it's your responsibility. And because of that, I've decided to make this video to talk about one of the methods of contraception, and that is intrauterine contraceptive devices. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or you're new to the channel hit on the subscribe button and do the same thing to the notification bell so you don't get to miss any of our videos when we upload and also for helping the channel to grow that being said let's dive right in what then is an IUCD it is an acronym meaning intrauterine contraceptive device it is a small t-shaped plastic device that contains either copper or hormone progesterone, which is placed in the uterus, that is the womb, with the aim of preventing pregnancy. It is a long-acting, reversible form of contraception. It can last for about five to 10 years, but can always be removed whenever the woman wants to get pregnant. It is a very effective means of contraception with a success rate of about 99%. IUCDs are also a very safe means of contraception, though some women report side effects, but these are very mild. Serious problems arising from these devices are uncommon. So the next question is how an IUD work firstly there are two types of iud's based on what it contains some contain copper a small amount of copper is put into them and these ones work by releasing a small amount of copper into the wound which are toxic to the sperm that is they kill the sperm they provide an unfriendly environment for the sperm to thrive now the other types of iud's contain hormone known as progesterone now this work through various means the first is that they cause thickening of the mucus around the cervix this thickening blocks the opening to the womb and prevents sperm from going direct into the womb that's the first thing secondly the hormone progesterone prevents ovulation from occurring and when there's no ovulation there is no egg for the sperm to fertilize and thirdly even when ovulation occurs a fertilization occurs this hormone also prevents implantation of the developing fetus generally all iud's tend to prevent sperm transport thereby preventing the sperm from meeting the egg and thereby removing every chance of fertilization so how do you get an iud inserted the insertion of an iud is a simple and safe procedure with little or no discomfort it is done by a trained nurse or a doctor first the vagina the cervix and the womb are examined to know the position and possibly the orientation then pregnancy is ruled out and also sexually transmitted infections all these are done before an iud is inserted and if there is a chance that you may be having an sti an antibiotics may be prescribed before inserting an iud into the womb after this the woman is placed on an examination couch the outer part of the vagina is cleaned and a speculum is put gently into a vagina to expose the cervix following this the iud is gently inserted into the womb through the cervix some women require some painkillers or some agents to numb the cervix but many women take this in with little or no discomfort after an iud insertion many women feel fine and they are good to go but a few may experience some cramps in the lower tummy and may need to wait behind for about 30 to 60 minutes before eventually leaving to the house what are the advantages of having an iud an iud is very safe it has a very good success rate of about 99%. It does not cause cancers. It does not cause weight gain. And it is long-acting, 
For example, it can last for five years and some others can last for as long as 10 years. And whenever the woman is ready to conceive, return to fertility is almost immediate after removal of an IUD. So there is no delay in fertility. So let's talk about some of the side effects that you may experience if you have to put an IUD in. Majority of women tolerate IUDs very well that they don't have any of the side effects that I'm going to talk about. But a few women may report some of the side effects and this will include a lower tummy pain which occurs in the first few days of insertion after which it is gone. Secondly, a woman may experience abnormal bleeding which could be in excess of what she used to experience prior to inserting an IUD. This also occurs in the early phase of insertion. The answer is no. If it is well placed, you cannot feel the device because the device is placed inside the womb. But you can feel the strings which is within the vagina and that makes you know that it is still in place. Ideally, it should not hurt the male partner. But some women have reported that their male partners experience some discomfort with the string. If this is the case, you can come back to your healthcare provider. They can cut the string and reduce the length if it's too long. Ideally, you should not get pregnant with an IUD. But like I said earlier, one in 100 women that use IUD may get pregnant while on IUD. If you suspect pregnancy while having an IUD, you go to the hospital as soon as possible so that you get an ultrasound scan done and then your pregnancy can be located. Now that you know about IUDs, their safety profile, their effectiveness, I believe this can serve as a guide when making decisions on the type of contraception you want to use. If this video has been informative for you, kindly subscribe to our channel like the video share to as many people as possible and remember contraception it's your life and it's your responsibility